So hello and welcome everyone to our Mechanzo video series. Today we are going to talk about the car bot. So the car bot is an autonomous robotic vehicle designed for diverse applications including transportation and delivery. With advanced sensors and navigation systems, it can navigate its surroundings safely and efficiently. So basically we are going to build a basic system and as you get more experienced and le start learning about microcontrollers, electronics and other uh, such systems, you would be able to mount these systems on your car robot, which would make it look even better, right? So today we are going to look at the mechanical design. So, but before that, let us know our plan of action. That is step one, car, uh, we would study about the car bot. Step two, we are going to have our activity time and then we are going to study about the conclusion. So, the car bot is a four wheel drive robot, a simple and effective four wheel car model, which can move from one place to another, right? That, that is what a car does. So to start off, you will, uh, you would be requiring two medium plates and two small bar and uh, sometimes we may call them as strips. So what you have to do is you have to place two medium plates side by side and then use two strips to bound them together, bind them together and tighten them or fasten them with two 0.5 bolts as shown in the picture. Now what you have to do is below these medium plates, you have to attach two small C bars and then attach them with the help of bolts, tighten them with the help of bolts. And uh, next what you have to do is below those two C bars that you just attached below these two medium plates, you have to add another pair of medium, uh, you have to add another pair of small C bars below the original C bars that you just attached and tighten them together with two 0.5 bolts with nuts. Now you have to use two shaft lock and uh, as you may have guessed the next step we are going to add a motor right so you just have to add two shafts and at the back and uh, three inches the longer one shaft at the back and the smaller shaft at the front now we are going to use our wheels and uh, we are going to connect our wheels to the longer shafts that we just connected to the below uh, to the uh, C bar that was connected below, right? And we are going to lock it using an axle lock. Now comes our motors. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our motors, open them screws, and then add these motors to the shaft and tighten them up so that they doesn't move out of their place. So now you have your basic structure ready. You just have to add your wheels to the front part where you attached your motors and use an axle lock as well at the front part so that these two wheels doesn't move as well, right? So the, uh, now this is a small problem for you. Add a mechanism by which you can take some object with your car. So you have to build something out of your mechanzo kit so that you can carry your uh, some load or some object from one place to another, right? So I'm sure you are creative enough to design something wonderful and we are waiting for that. In conclusion, we studied about the car robot today, how it works and how we can make it, design it, what is its use and uh, <clears throat> right. So as we studied that uh, this is used widely in log uh, logistics and manual labor as well. And this uh, reduce manual labor and enhance the speed and accuracy of goods movement, right. So I hope you learned something new today, learned about mechanical designing and how you can make an efficient uh, robot. So just keep learning new something every day and uh, keep moving forward. Thank you so much for watching this video.